so amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. <laughs> That's it. That's an interesting thought. Like maybe it's like a shadow indoctrination where like they, you know, they can like turn it off and on the, the reapers that is. And then all of a sudden like they just, you know, it's it's like flipping a switch. That'd be kind of creepy. Have you studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In Ooh. what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. That's fascinating. That, uh, that's like a, a scientific explanation of telepathy. <laughs> it's kind of hey, cool. Commander, need a hand? What? Why, why are you here? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. What? Why? Why, why James in particular? Why? <laughs> why is he here? I guess it, there's like a story beat maybe with that. I'm just going to go look around and make sure that there's nothing else to explore. Because at the moment, I'm just following them around, talking to them. But you never know. There might be some stuff up here to like read. Who knows? I mean, we were like just up here, but yeah, nothing. All right, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't missing anything. I hate when that happens, especially when it's like some vital upgrade. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Or... You know, like a like a weapon upgrade or something like that that I completely miss out on. Can I talk to him again? Commander, you see this thing? This is great. Yeah, that's definitely you. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact, but the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone, hmm. as it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. Oh, jeez. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Well, that's what happened. And I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you, but maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. Okay, so basically she's, she's saying that if we drop the shield, let it control her, trace it, and then put the shield back up when we've got the signal. I say let's do it. I don't like it, but we're out of options. You know better than I do what Leviathan's capable of when threatened. I know it's a long shot, but I have to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Just gotta, like, Commander, tie her down or something? With Anne. Sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. This is pretty gutsy. I don't know about guts. <sighs> Crazy, maybe. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. 
James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. So we'll turn on the air conditioning. No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. You turn really need back. The so darkness I can't be breached. Tie her down or something. No. Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. So Need creepy. Enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. No. Nope. Belay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. Uh oh. I'm Hope she doesn't die. This. Yeah, go ahead this time. No, don't do Back it. Back off. Where are you? Where are you? Beyond reach. Trace complete. James. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Shit. Edie, update. You want to sit, Rep? Are you kidding me? Look at her. I got it, Lieutenant. Edie, we have a location. <sighs> Hang in there. Leviathan coordinates sent to the Normandy, Shepard. <sighs> I hope it was worth it. It will be. I'm taking her to Med Lab. See you back on the Normandy. <laughs> Bent out of shape about that, homie? You got a thing for her, like, out of nowhere? Like, what is this? <laughs> this is this one of those things that if I had brought James along, it, it would have been, it would have made more sense, but it's just like a little out of place because I didn't have him. That I feel like that might be the case. Also, <clears throat> who's going to clean up this mess? <laughs> That's not me. I'm not going to do it. It's not my mess. Not my lab. Not my mess. I don't, I, you know, I'm not a janitor. I don't, I don't clean up mess. I'll send James to come do it. How about that? Him and his new girlfriend can do whatever the heck they want to do, cleaning things. But us, you know, we got we got more important matters to do, uh, like shopping. <laughs> Let's go to the comments because I got some money, you know, and I want to go double check all of our shopping stuff, make sure there's nothing that we need to buy. <laughs> it's like such a weird transition of you know like gears here like a shifting of gears like man that leviathan situation was really intense that was that was crazy let's go buy a handbag <laughs> you know gotta have my gucci where are we at over here welcome to Elkos combine arsenal supplies all right so this was weapons uh man that weapon looks so cool yeah yeah is that shotgun no rifle ask about our full service warranties I have the Cerberus armor. These are upgrades. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Is this actually like a sniper rifle? What the heck is this thing? It looks like a shotgun. Uh, Alliance Combine. Marines take issue with calling it a rifle since technically it's no rifling in its barrel. The Corian shrug it off. The Corian weapon technology rarely translates flawless in human languages. If it exists, hmm. we carry it. And these are all just materials. All right, so let's Please let's. Back off on that. Uh, oh, that's right. We have the record or night. I kind of want to go try that out. Yeah, and there's nothing there for us. I believe that a couple of the other shops possibly had something for us. I mean, that record or armor was 40,000. We don't even have that much, but, you know, at what point do we just say, screw it, let's get it. I think, um, and that goes, by the way, that goes for it, all of our stuff here. Oh, and speaking of which, did I have any? Uh, it's just Liara here. I don't think I had any things to turn in. I think we finished most, if not all of that. Welcome to Casa Fabrication um, <clears throat> that we could at least. 
Yeah, Inferno armors, 50,000. Like, we just we just don't have the money for that. Just pistol, just pistol, sniper rifles, and rifle. Um, let's check this one out. Acolyte. SMG, collector armor, pistol, pistol, SMG. Nope. All the all the dialogue overlapping here really bothers me. Welcome to Super Teen Armory. Sniper rifle, Blake. Sniper rifle. All right. I I actually think that outside of buying that Reckoner armor, which I don't believe we have bought. Oh, there's also the Venom. The Venom's okay. It's not my favorite. It's an it's another one of those weapons that I uh spent some time trying to get to work back in like Mass Effect 3 multiplayer days and just was having the hardest time with it. I think I prefer so many other shotguns in the game. And you know, the only time that I'm using shotguns in the game to begin with is with the um is is with the Vanguard usually. Please select the destination. Should I go check the embassies? Check the N7 stuff. I guess we could do that. I, I just, you know, I'm taking an interlude here between Leviathan stuff to, to make sure I got shop stuff done. Um, oh, Samba. Who's that? Is there, is there a person here I need to talk to for a quest? Actually, there probably is. All right, let's go on that side. Is it this guy here that I want to talk to? Hello? Yes, his squad did return. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. <laughs> I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. I found these on a corpse on Benning. Aha! I think they belong to your son. I already have the ah. quest thing. Yes, it's... what I was afraid of. His mates. They looked like men drinking for a lost friend. We can mourn him now. Thank you, my friend. Weird, weird delivery on that. <laughs> it felt like, um, yeah, it just felt like really weird dialogue. All right, was there anything else? No, Counselor Dina, Commander Bailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go check out the N7 thing, and see if there's anything in particular that I want to purchase. Maybe shotgun stuff. Maybe armor. I don't know. We're just gonna take a look. And then from here, we I could go see where like Garrus is on the citadel which is like down in the refugee area i know that there's uh at least one or two shops down there that i could take a look at i just don't know if it's useful um oh we have a specter terminal thing citadel entry authorization instructors at grissom academy have requested facilities on the citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school but who are not yet ready to join the other students or older students in combat Ooh, that was quite the sentence. Uh, Citadel authorities will find room for the students if a specter approves the request. Let's authorize that. Um, man, these are so expensive. So the shotguns of the Crusader. It's kind of a lot, <laughs> but it is an N7 weapon. Do I just want to save up for the Crusader? I kind of do. I kind of do. I mean, when it boils down to it, all of the N7 stuff is awesome uh the piranha uh, the piranha shotgun is really nice but it is um it's quick you don't have to reload as much so it's it's more like 
it, you know, it's less like what we're doing now where we're doing like individual shots and more just kind of um, spamming. Oh, yeah, there's also the race. I forgot about that one. Interesting. I think what we're going to do is save up the, for the Crusader. And I'm going to forget about that in like 10 episodes. <laughs> so remind me. Hey, Zen. Save up for the Crusader, get it all upgraded. Let's check it out. I think the, Cru the Crusader could be potentially really good. Um, generally speaking, the N7 stuff from my memory was a lot better than, you know, most of the other stuff. Although I suppose... I suppose the like big exceptions to that are like the Black Widow. I don't think that's an N7 weapon. Or like the, um, oh, what was it called? Oh my goodness, I'm blanking on that weapon, assault rifle. I don't think it was an N7 uh, weapon either, but at least in the, the multiplayer stuff, as you would unlock like high level weapons, Especially in seven weapons, it was always like a really hype thing because they were quite good. Then again, things are a little different in the legendary edition, so it's hard to um, it's hard to wrap your head around completely. What am I doing for this quest? Let's go to journal. Um, b -b -b scan locations. Ed marked possible locations for Leviathan on the galaxy map. Scan the locations and find Leviathan. Okay, cool. Let's pop in over here and. We'll leave orbit and we'll bounce out. So, uh, okay, so we have, yeah, we have one up here. So let's go search up here. We're gonna get reapered so hard. I have a feeling like as soon as we get scanning, they're gonna pop in <laughs> and just be annoying. Uh, we have scanned this one already, so that's not a problem. But this one we have not. Actually, there's a few systems in here we haven't fully scanned. I suppose I will end up doing that before the end of the game. But I'm not like locked in on the idea of getting 100% in each system because like signal confirmed. It honestly feels like 90% of the time it's it's all about um just like fuel. It's like here's here's fuel. Here's here's 10 war assets. <laughs> like really? Search successful. Scan reveals a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signal. Signal. Uh, closer examination required for confirmation. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Let's trace them down. Leviathan can't hide from us. Should we bring James with us on this one? <laughs> um, I kind of feel like, yeah, like maybe we should, because I'm really curious what he's what he's up to here. Um, let's bring, bring James and Edie, maybe? Or Garrus? I mean, it might, it might be nice to have Edie along with us. Let's, let's do, um... Let's do, let's do James and Garrus. Let's, and see what they think about this. I think, uh, Javik and, and Edie are probably gonna be a little bit more on board with my renegade nature, but... Um, yeah, man, the Claymore just does so much damage, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Which we should try to do the Crusader. I'm not gonna buff up their stuff at the moment. Uh, I do want to spend some points though. Let's go ahead and upgrade Shockwave. So increase the distance that Shockwave cascades or increase the force and damage. Distance actually may not be a bad thing because we, we're typically using um, Shockwave as a distance thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's do distance. We can really throw that sucker then. It'll help for, you know, when enemies are like up on like slight ledges or whatnot. Uh, for Garrus, we can give him the next upgrade to concussive shot. I'm not doing frozen stuff, so I'm just going to have him take that. I, I mean, I could do frozen ammo, but not at the moment. And I haven't used James in a while, so let's upgrade his arms master. Uh, got maybe one more of these. Increase health and shield. Bonuses by 40. Yeah. I don't like having to resurrect my my party members often. Uh, and then that'll be fine. Garrus shows that he has one point left. I'm not going to bother spending the this last point. So I'm just going to um, invest them into 
a single tree as much as I can. It's weird. They didn't give me like a engine sound there. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Yep. Never seen anything like it. Can't imagine what's waiting for us down there. Reaper killer, assuming Bryson's task force have him right. Doesn't look like it wants to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Sure, but now what? Let's suppose it is a Reaper. Is that the kind of help we want? We're not going to win this war by turning away help. Even if it does have blood on its hands. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not going to like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. Oh, I show figures. a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We're going to Atlantis, boys. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Yes, we're gonna find out. Whoa. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Um... That was a pretty smooth landing, all things considered. But what are the li what's the likelihood that we were gonna actually hit water versus... Oh, this is like a giant ship. What the heck? Something else Everyone has come here. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Not this is cool. Shepard. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Bust this ships, makeshift shelters. We're not the first ones down by that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Wait for shuttle repairs. This reminds me of like the best part of Rise of Skywalker, which is when they're on that planet with the broken Death Star piece and, you know, there's like this storm in it. Like, that's, that's super cool looking. That's exactly what this is. 